the Hi guys, it's Narco Lando. So today I'm going to be showing you how I moisturize my hair. My hair is in mini twist and I just love mini twist like for the longest time now like mini twists have been my favorite go-to style and I, i'm just in love with this and i think it makes my hair really grow out faster and it's also because it's a low manipulative hairstyle like and it also gives me the freedom to just work on my hair i just love these twists so i've washed my hair already and oops who is that <laughs> i've washed my hair and you can see how i think my scalp is not so like my scalp is not dirty and everything it's all cleaned up my hair is still damp but i'm going to spritz my i'm going to just add in moisture kidogo because i washed it like one hour ago and i've not oiled it yet so it's kind of still moist like it's still damp but not that damp how i love it so i'm just going to add in water just a little bit not so much this fly and one thing I've learned if you have mini twists in and you are working on it you want you want to make sure that whenever you are working on mini twists you go in one direction work on them on one direction like if it's this side this way go downwards if it's upwards you are going good upwards if it's towards the back go that way if you are washing them like this wash all in one direction you don't want to just work it like work on it on different <laughs> Okay, you don't want to work on it in different directions that's the that's the thing that i've learned so my hair is damp right now like i've added in the water guys and i just love this tell me if you love these mini trees or you love them <laughs> it's either you love them or you love them nothing else anyways that's it then i'm going to just Put this braid spray, radiant braid spray in. I don't have a leave-in conditioner, so this is what I'm just going to spray on my hair. Ah. If you have a leave-in conditioner, you can put that whichever product you have, just use it. There is nothing like there is no product that is cast on stone that you must use it just use whatever it is that you want as long as you get the desired results that you want and something i love about this spray is that it's a uh, anti-dandruff like you can use it to protect your scalp against those dandruff and it really works well so that's why i love it and yeah i'll just spray it on my hair on my scalp and just work everything in <laughs> yeah oh my goodness look at that this hair is so pretty what do you think i'm so in love with my hair guys so much in love with my hair anyways the next thing that i'm going to do is now i go to the oils and uh, i'm using my coconut oil don't mind the bottle <laughs> so it's coconut oil and i'm just going to put it maybe this is an easy step like there's nothing complicated about this or nothing fancy about this so i just have my oil here do like this then just put it on my hair and guys remember i told you we are going in one direction right so i'm going to put everything in one direction like that and just work the oil into my hair as much as possible 
and remember again the other reason why you should work your hair in one direction is that you don't want to cause frizz on your hair because if you're just going in different directions it will kind of cause frizz to the hair but we want to maintain the how is it called the niceness <laughs> if i may say so of the hair we don't want to cause frizz so i'm just going to continue doing this and coat all the hair with oil and just seal in the moisture right the 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 oil acts as a sealant so it will just help keep the moisture from the water in my hair and that's what we want to achieve I think this looks pretty I'm in love with this okay so the final step for me now is to oil my scalp and I mean please <sighs> I have this so I hold all my hairs uh, in a high bun I'll just get everything here like that then i'll take my oil spares i'm just going to use it to oil my scalp because my scalp i really get a lot of dandruff whenever my hair is dry or something like that so i'm just going to use this to oil my scalp and i'll be using a little bit because it leaves some residue on the hair So this is what I'm just going to be doing. I take a generous amount, just put on the parts. After working it in, I'm going to remove my hair, some part, some hair from the bun, and just continue doing this. So guys, I hope you are enjoying and learning something. Anything that you can take away from this, I hope you are learning something. And um, yeah, kindly do make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet join the family also leave a sweet comment for me in the comment section let me know your thoughts about this video so guys you can see the residue that i was talking about that's why i don't want to use a lot of the oil on my scalp it leaves the residue which is not really nice but anyways i just have to use it because I don't have another option right now this is what I have and it will serve me for quite some time and you can see as I am also oiling my scalp I'm going in one direction like I'm not going this way then bringing it down this way going this way this way, this way. I'm just going in if it's uh, this side i'm going in one motion like this i'm not going this way and this way because we want to avoid the freeze again so yeah just make sure you take that into consideration Clear everything off and uh, using the same motion just lay everything down and uh, that's how I moisturize my mini twist I don't do anything fancy it's um it's a simple process that it involves maybe three steps it's so very simple I don't use a lot of products too and 
you don't have to use a lot of products too as long as there is moisture in your hair and you are satisfied that you've locked in the moisture using any oil that you have whether it's coconut avocado oil just any oil you can use it and you can also use any conditioner that any leave-in conditioner that you have and yeah if you suffer from dandruff just make sure you use something that is anti-dandruff on your scalp so as to treat that condition if it's a condition and yeah and something that i do to also make sure that my the ends of my mini twists are protected is that i usually don't walk with my mini twists hanging like this i usually tie them up maybe put my hair in a bun or something and uh, maybe braid them in a style i don't usually walk with my hair in mini twists like like this because i want to avoid the friction since i want to avoid breakage to my hair to my to the ends of my hair as much as possible so that's what i usually do to just maintain my hair and prevent the ends from breaking or splitting and everything so that's everything i hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly make sure you leave a comment in the comment section a sweet comment in the comment section also make sure you will like this video and ultimately join the family join the family by subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching to this point i'll see you in my next video bye